Hello, my name is Suno Lose. I work for Abakion as part of the supply chain box community. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import data into NAV very intuitively using our master data import worksheet. This worksheet is part of our master data information tool and makes it possible to import data from all other systems into NAV. The reason for doing that could be two different things. First of all, if you are a Dynamics NAV partner, you might want to do a customer demo having data in other ERP system and you want to show them how to work it in NAV. This is a tool to import data very quickly into NAV to be able to make a demo like that. Or you could be an end user having the need to import data once in a while into your NAV. This could be items, sales prices, purchase prices, stuff like that when you get new data from your vendor. So in this case, in this video, I will show you an example of getting data from a vendor and put it in, into NAV. So the tables we support with this tool is the item table, customer table, the vendor table, bill of materials and routing, and the sales and purchase price tables. They work a little different because they have different primary keys, and I'm going to show you how it works. So in one video, in the beginning, I will show you how to import simple data with only one field in the primary key, such as item, customers, and vendors. After that, in another video, I'm going to show you how to import complex data that could be bills of materials, routing, sales prices, purchase prices. How do you import those? And how do we use some of the extra functionality in NAV while importing the data? And last of all, what do you do when the fields you want to import doesn't exist in NAV? Can we prevent creating new fields in NAV using the master data information tool? We'll show you how to work that.